Welcome back everybody to the channel. It's me, Alejandro Mendoza, Ordinary Chicano. Either way, how you say it, it's all good here. And we're back again for another video as we look at another film in my collection. And today, I'm excited because we're looking at none other than Arrow Video's limited edition release of Barbarella on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. As always, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are happy, healthy, and staying safe, watching some great movies, and getting through your collection. And I hope you all have been picking up some cool stuff. But uh, of course, if you are new here and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. Click the notification bell so you don't miss a single review, a collection update, or anything else that drops on the channel. And of course, please leave a like on the video as all of that really helps me out a lot with getting these videos to more eyes. Of course, if you'd like to lend an extra helping hand, I do have a Patreon set up over at patreon.com slash where you can get early access to videos just like the one you're watching right now, along with really cool stuff like video essays and other goodies that I have available over there. But for now, of course, it is not mandatory, but it is appreciated. If you want to go ahead and help in over there, you can. But if you want to keep watching the videos, you want to keep liking the videos, you want to subscribe and turn on your bell, all of that wonderful stuff helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. But I do have a Patreon set up if you want to go ahead and go over there. But of course, let's go ahead and just get done with that and get into this review of Barbarella on 4K from Arrow Video. All right, before we can go ahead and look at the film and the packaging and all that wonderful stuff, I'm going to go ahead and read this introduction and I'm going to look at what is included in this actual release. Slip out of your spacesuit and into something more comfortable. It's time to join Barbarella on a series of cosmic adventures in this Dino De Laurentiis production directed by Roger Vadim and God Created Woman and starring Jane Fonda as the intergalactic glamour puss created by comic book artist Jean-Claude Forrest. It is the year 40,000 AD when evil scientist Duran Duran played by Milo O'Shea, creates a deadly weapon with the potential to cause mass devastation. The president of Earth dispatches Barbarella, played by Fonda, to hunt him down. Crash landing in an icy wilderness somewhere within the Tau Ceti planetary system, Barbarella is rescued by Mark Hand, Ugo Tungnasi in La, from La, Ke, La Cage of Foulet, and guided by the blind angel Pygar, played by Philip Law, Philip Law, John Philip Law, Danger Diabolic to Duran's lair in Sogo, a city of corruption and debauchery where an encounter with the great tyrant Black Queen, played by Anita Pallenberg from Performance, and her minions throws her mission into jeopardy. With an all-star cast including David Hemmings and Marcel Marceau, and glorious retro-futuristic costumes and art design dripping with 60s psychedelia, Barbarella defined an era and has never looked better than this brand new 4K restoration with an HDR slash Dolby Vision color grade so rich it can be seen from space, loaded with never before seen bonus features. Included in this limited edition release from Arrow Video, it is a brand new 4K restoration from the original negative by Arrow Films, reversible sleeve featuring original and newly commissioned artwork by Tula Lotte, double-sided fold-out poster featuring original and newly commissioned artwork by Tula Lotte, Six double-sided collector's postcards, illustrated collector's booklet featuring new writing on the film by Anne Bilson, Pat G Gravet, Veronique Bergen, and Elizabeth Castaldo Lunden, and select archival material. And of course, included in this uh, two-disc uh, set, it is a 4K 2160p Ultra HD Blu-ray presentation in Dolby Vision and HDR10 compatible. A original lossless English mono audio plus remixed Dolby Atmos surround in French and lossless French mono featuring the voice of Jane Fonda. Original, uh, original English subtitles for deaf and hard of hearing. Audio commentary by film critic Tim Lucas. Alternative opening and closing credits in 4K with Dolby Vision. Isolated score. And then in the second disc on the Region A Blu ray, you have Another Girl, Another Planet. An appreciation of Barbarella by film critic Glenn Kenny, Paul Joyce's behind-the-scenes featurette Barbarella Forever, love a two-hour in-depth discussion between film and cultural historians Tim Lucas and Steve Bissett on the impact and legacy of Barbarella, Dress to Kill, a 30-minute interview with film fashion scholar Elizabeth Castaldo, London on Jacques Fonteri's world-changing costume designs, 
framing for Claude, an interview with camera operator Robert uh, Diurometti. To Tognasi on Tognasi, actor-director Ricky Tognasi discusses the life and work of his father and Barbarella star Ugo Tognasi. In Angel's body double, actor Fabio Tesso discusses his early career as a stuntman and body double for John Philip Law on Barbarella. Dino and Barbarella, a video essay by Eugen uh, Eugenio Ercolani uh, on producer Dino De Laurentiis. Trailer, US TV and radio spots, and an image gallery. And of course, this is the front of the slipcase. Very nice quality. This is the back. And then this is the spine. And then you just go ahead and slip this off and the inside is just white and then of course you have this massive massive booklet which still smells very new as uh, when i picked it up on uh, on the sale and then um you have just a bunch of stuff in here man you have what's it called uh Barbarella Psychedelia 2023 by Ann Bilson. You have Jean-Claude Ferris of Barbarella 2014 by Paul Gravette. Barbarella Ambassador of Peace and Love by Veronique Bergen. Barbarella The Unintentional Beacon of Retrofuturism by Elizabeth Costello London. Barbarella 1968 British Press Book about the restoration and production credits. And you have some just great art there. I don't want to crease the booklet, but it's really good booklet. And there's just so much included in here, man. A lot to read and a lot of that interesting psychedelia art there. And of course, the restoration is presented in the original 235 by 1. Aspect ratio with restored original mono English and French audio and new English 5.1 in the most presentations. The isolated music score is also included. Original 35mm camera negative was scanned in 4K 16-bit at Phot Photochem Burbank. Sections of an original 35mm interpositive were also scanned in 4K 16-bit. To replace sections in poor condition on the original negative, the film was restored and graded in 4K SDR, HDR10, and Dolby Vision by Silver Salt Restoration London. The restoring of the original mono English and French audio tracks was completed at uh, B B Bad Prince's Productions London. The Amos and 5.1 mixes were created using the original mono DME tracks at Deluxe Audio London. Restoration supervised by James White and James Percy at Arrow Films. Lots of cool stuff in here, guys. There's some, some great art on here. It looks really cool. And then this is the really nice poster that folds out. This is the new commissioned artwork. And then you have this really cool original poster, Who Can Save the Universe? Barbarella Can. It looks really nice. I really like this one. And I think this is the better version of it. Uh, Aerostore did have a version with this actual artwork for the uh, fi uh, the film artwork here on the, on the case. But I bought this at Barnes & Noble, so I wasn't able to pick that one up. And then this is the film. This is the front. This is the back with all of the special features in there and the J card. I, I took off the J card when I bought it uh, to just keep it there and uh, you just open it up. And then you have these art cards, which the back has the same poster right there. And you have these different art cards. Just gonna go ahead and just show you guys like that. Yep. Pretty cool art cards, man. This is the last one. Yeah, pretty cool art cards. And uh, you have a nice little advertisement for the Arrow Player and this film called Dolls. They walk, they talk, they kill. And yeah, um, never seen this movie before, but who knows how to much to trust these. They always say that they are gonna release them. They had one for Desperado and they just never did it. So who, who knows, right? And then, of course, you have your 4K disc right there. And then you have a Blu-ray disc right there. And if I am correct, you should have reversible artwork like that. And I'm actually going to use the reversible artwork. I really like the way this looks. And this, the commission artwork is on the actual box. So I'm going to actually go ahead and keep the original artwork, the original poster artwork on this one. And there you go. That's how it looks. It's pretty cool. That's it for the packaging. Now let's go ahead and discuss this film of wild proportions. To be honest, the person who really convinced me to pick this up 
was James over at 20th and 21st Movies. Uh, he did a great review of this film and he really, you know, described it in a way that really impressed me to want to check this out and it left that impression where I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Uh, I had a couple, uh, 25 bucks from a gift card and then I used the rest because it was 30% off to pick this up and I bought it and I have to say, Barbarella is an interesting movie. I wouldn't say that Barbarella works most of the time, but it has so much charm. It has this 60s psychedelic feeling to it that really is impression, uh, imp impressionable to actually have a fun atmosphere to it. Uh, Jane Fonda is commanding. She is so um, focused on in this film where you are sucked into the charm of her character even though she is very silly she is very on the nose but she's very fun to follow in this movie it's not the best thing i've seen but it is something that really left an impression on me and i was more lured to its ridiculousness and how fun it is rather than what it's actually trying to say to be honest it was fun and i did enjoy it but i won't say it's the greatest experience i've had with a film but it is a pleasant experience and I really did enjoy its performances, uh, the sets, and especially the really wacky and silly music that they used in it. And I had to say the best part of it though was definitely those incredible costumes. Now let's talk about the transfer. I watched Barbarella on my Panasonic 4K player on my 4K TV from a TCL and my TV is HDR10 compatible. So I couldn't get to watch this on uh, Dolby Vision HDR. And of course, I listened to this film straight from my TV speakers. Of course, I don't have any frame of reference for this movie. I've never seen Barbarella before. So I'm only gonna go off my impression of what I actually saw on my TV. And I have to say Barbarella looks really good on 4K. It is an incredibly um, detailed movie and the 4K really gives it that nice detailing to really give you a good look of what the film looks like. It has some grain in it, and I think that grain really likes, really details how much of a film it is of the 60s, and it really does showcase that with the fine graining in the film. It's not like this incredibly colorful film that you'd get the best look out of with HDR, but the moments where there's a lot of color, that HDR does help out a lot. The colors pop on the screen, they have so much detail, and I really did appreciate that, especially accompanied with that nice uh, look from the 4K resolution. I can't exactly say that this would land in my top five of last year if I had watched it at the time, but I have to say that audio wise, I really did think that this movie sounded pretty good, very clear, no scratching, no hissing, nothing that I would say was a massive determinant to the audio restoration. And of course, I'm, I'm not listening to this on a stereo system. I don't have any cool speakers. So, you know, I don't get to hear that Amos track and I don't get to hear the surround sound. But from what I'm able to listen to from my TV, I think it did a pretty good job. And I think that it sounds good and especially the music sounds very balanced from with everything else like sound effects and dialogue where it's just not more overpowering than the other aspects of the movie. This is also loaded with special features. So if that's something that you uh, really want, then it's massive amount of special features. And then of course on a sale, this is like $25. So you're getting a good amount of special features for what you're paying. You're getting a pretty good fun movie with a really good uh, video quality and audio quality. And you get a lot of special features. I wanted to go for the um, for the limited edition because I had never picked up any limited edition at the time from Arrow Video and I thought it looked pretty cool. And of course, I wanted to see that booklet and read a little bit more up on Barbarella. So uh, overall, I'm glad I picked it up. Now, if it wasn't on sale, would I have picked it up? Probably not, but I'm happy with what I did and I'm happy with what I have right now. So I really enjoyed it and I thought that it looked great and it sounded great and it just 
beautiful packaging and a great uh, amount of special features as well. To keep up to date with me on all things social media, make sure you follow me at the Nerd Chicano on Instagram and Twitter, Letterbox, Serialize, TikTok, and on Twitch. I'm the same handle on all of those. So let's go ahead and talk about some films and discuss some physical media with each other. Check out the Nerdcore by checking out our website, nerdcore.com, and checking out our Twitch kick and our YouTube over at the Nerdcore. We're the same handle on all those three platforms, and we could really use your help and really get some more ears for our podcast. And of course, that's it for now. But of course, my wonderful cinephiles and renowned scholars celebrate the love of cinema today, tomorrow, and every day after. Catch you all in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.